stand. And of course, is this thing on? Hello? A whole lot of Snooky. Pull the trigger in your seat. This is a really cute relationship. I'm loving you guys. When you're done, I'm going to come bring you drinks. Tell me about shooting Beach Cabana Royale. I mean, it seems like it was a long day. <laughs> a long day. It was like a week. It was definitely a long shoot um, because renovation shows you have to shoot the whole entire time to get the whole process. Um, so the designers killed it, but it was a ton of hard work for them. But I was excited to shoot it because, you know, I love being on the beach, but also, you know, I want to try hosting and I want to try new things this year. And I definitely want to get into hosting. So I just feel like this show was perfect for me. So you love being on the beach, but you hate sand. Is that yes. True? So I love, I love laying out on the beach and getting a tan, but then I hate the ocean and actually wet sand on my feet. It's like a love hate relationship I have. I mean, as a mom, I hate sand because it gets literally mm -hmm. everywhere. It's like, yeah, a, it's, a, it's a nightmare. <laughs> um, so, but I will say after watching the show, like the beach cabanas seem like a great idea. Like I want one because I want to just like hang out and drink while I can hear the ocean. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> what would you want in a beach cabana? Uh, my beach cabana, I would definitely want like a nice bed to lay out in because I like just laying down and watching TV in a cabana with my cocktail. Uh, but also like, you know, a little area for the kids because I have an eight, a six and a one year old. So to be able to have all of them be in there and be comfortable, um, but also me relaxing, like it just needs to be very family oriented, but squishy and comfortable. I know your daughter is really into gymnastics, so maybe like, you know, one of the cabanas had a ballet bar. Maybe your daughter could have like a mirror and a block or, you know, whatever it is. Oh, she's good. She practices like four, four days a week. She is so insane with practice and cheer that well, she needs a break from that. <laughs> How did she get into cheer? Like, I know you were a cheerleader. Did you sort of encourage it? I mean, I definitely wanted to live through her. So I was like, oh, I hope she loves cheer. Um, so I ended up taking her at four and she hated it because, you know, she was on top of me and she was nervous and, you know, that like scared, that scared, awkward phase that they have. But then, you know, she tried out, she joined a team and now she loves it. She makes, you know, so many friends there, so many memories, and she's just a naturally athletic person and I'm so proud of her. So I am a, I am a longtime Jersey Shore viewer um, since, you know, day one. And I know that um, on there, you know, people call you Nicole more than they call you Snooki. And so I'm sort of wondering how you sort of discern between the two. Like on this show, people are calling you Snooki. Like, do you care? Do you care what people are calling you? Um, no, I don't really care. I feel like my brand is Snooki. And I always say it's like my stage name. Um, but like when it comes to like my friends, my best friends, my family, never call me Snooki. It's always Nicole or Nick. So, you know, it's, it's both. I answer to both. Yeah. I think maybe like in the Paramount commercials, you know, for instance, like it's Snooki and that's maybe how people right. will know you that maybe don't know, like don't follow mm -hmm. your stuff. Like, you know. yeah, there's a lot of people that think that's actually my real name. <laughs> I'm like, no. <laughs> it's not on your birth certificate. It's not, yeah, your, no. it's not your vanity plane on your car. Um, speaking of, you keep your relationship like pretty private on social media. Like you'll post to your daughter, but like we don't see a lot of pictures of your husband or even like all of your kids. Like how mm. have you decided like which parts of your family to like put online and which parts to, you know, sort of keep private? Well, it's all up to them. My son, Lorenzo, hates the camera. He hates pictures. So I never really force it on him. My daughter loves it. That's why you always see my daughter or Angelo because, you know, he's still a baby. So I get to get those moments in without him complaining. Uh, but Gianni, he hates the fame world. He hates TV, he hates pictures. So I have to respect that about him. But I also love that about our relationship because it is private and it feels normal. And it doesn't feel like, you know, it's in the spotlight for everyone to see. And I feel like, um, you know, that's why our relationship is so good because it is private and it's normal. Jersey Shore is literally my life. Like, I never would have met my best friends. So the fact that it has to end like this, for me, it really sucks. I just want to go home. You notably took the season off from Jersey Shore Family Reunion, but fans want you back. Um, why did you opt out and then, like, you know, is there a world in which you could participate? Like, hey, everyone bring their kids. Or, you know, what do you, I mean, everyone has so much going on now. It's hard to imagine. Mm -hmm. That show seems like such a, a nightmare to schedule and everything. Yeah, it definitely is a nightmare when it comes to scheduling. And they actually did bring their kids um, last season, 
but that's not an option for me because I'm not going to take my kids out of school just so they'll be with me and I'm happy. So that's not even an option for me. Um, but I did end up leaving because it just got too heavy. I like, you know, a good vibe, positive vibes. And it just got like the bad girls club drama. And I was like, I did not sign up for this. And I just feel like it was mentally draining me to where I wasn't being the best parent to my kids because I started to get depressed over the whole drama. So I was like, I need to take a break. This is too much. Um, and I just hate leaving my kids for days on end to film the show. And it's just something that it doesn't work for my life anymore when it comes to me being a mom. You've been on TV for a while. And sort of you've been on TV sort of like the course of the internet sort of like reaction. Do you know what I mean? Like haters and people on Twitter and whatever. Yeah. Like how have you noticed that changing over the years? Like now are people more involved in your shit? Like if there's a fight on mm -hmm. the show, are people taking it very, you know, stuff like that? Um, well, I just feel like these past seasons, it definitely got crazy to where people were like, you're a bully. I hope your kids get bullied. I hope they cry. I was like, oh, this is dramatic. Like if anybody knows me knows I'm just a good time. I never want to hurt anybody's feelings. And I'm just here for a good time and to go home. And I feel like that wasn't my character anymore. Like it was just becoming too much and just not, not really showing who I really am. So I was like, peace out. This is too much. But yeah, the comments can be crazy, especially when people attack my kids. I'm like, they have nothing to do with this. Relax. It's just a reality show. Calm down. 